Hi, this is Byron Brown. I'm the pastor at First Baptist Church of Inverness, Florida, and I'm excited to be with you here today. We are a church that follows God prayerfully and passionately. And today I want to talk to you about God's kindness and severity. It's an interesting verse in Romans chapter 11, verse 22. Romans 11, verse 22. Note then the kindness and the severity of God. Severity toward those who have fallen, but God's kindness to you, provided you continue in his kindness. Otherwise, you too will be cut off. You see, it's really easy to talk about the kindness of God, but we don't like to talk about the severity. We don't like to talk about God's wrath or his judgment. I want to I propose to you today that both of, the, oh, both of those are important for God to be God. For us to know him as he truly is. And I don't think they contradict each other. Imagine a little, a little child running out into the middle of a, of a busy freeway. Now the, the mother yells at the child, you better get back here. So the child says, well, why are you yelling at me? That's kind of that's mean. That's kind of rude. Of course not. The severity is for the child's own good. And the same is true here in scripture. God is not severe with us so that, so that he can just make us feel bad. It's because he loves us. He isn't severe with judgment because he just wants whatever he wants. It's because of who he is, his holiness and his righteousness and his love. So we have to have both his kindness and his severity. And let me tell you a little bit about his kindness. This is really cool. He loves you so much that he's not leaving it up for debate. He's telling you in his scriptures that yes, we all stand condemned before, before him, a holy God, but he's telling you in kindness, there's a way. There's a way to know him, to come back to him. You remember Noah and the, and the flood? Great story in the Old Testament. The, the severity was the, the flood, the condemnation. The kindness was, if you'll believe, get on the ark, get in the boat, then you'll be saved. You think about all the times in scripture where God had to, to be judged. He had to say, this is how it is. I can't lower a standard because you can't meet it, but rather I can give you salvation. You see, we're saved not by hanging on to the outside of the boat as the ark went up into the water. We're saved by getting inside of the ark. And the same is true with your relationship with Jesus Christ. It's not trying to hold on to Jesus. It's salvation by trusting in him to hold on to us. That's the kindness of God. You see, the gospel is really good news. He came into this world to save you. He, the world already stood condemned. That was the severity of God. The kindness is... Even before the condemnation, he knew how he was going to save you. Are you ready for that? I hope you don't. And if you don't, I hope you will. We at First Baptist are here for you. We're blessed to be here. But we want you to know more than anything else, God does love you.